Hello again. How are we doing? So this time we're out in the Lake District. We're at Brysdale Forest. Say hello, Finn. Hi. So it's wet. Oh, it's really wet. So it rained pretty much constantly yesterday. Pretty much rained all day today so far. It's about half 10 in the morning and it's forecast to be raining all day long. So we thought we'd bring you along. Lots and lots of trees down. So we're wondering whether that's still from sort of Storm Arwen before So we've come across some um, forestry work that's been going on and Finn wanted to count the rings on this tree. One, two, three. Ah, uh, Finn, you've missed some, look. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. That one there is the fourth one, Four, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, 32, 33, 34, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 20. Seven, it's 76 years old. 76 years old, oh that is incredible, God. isn't it? But look, as you can also tell, Finn, can you see when it was younger, yeah. it grew much faster than as it gradually got older. Can you see all the rings yeah. are gradually shrink, closer shrink, together? Shrink, 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 shrink. And if you have a look at that area, that's an area of damage. So when it was that old, something damaged that part of the tree there. And so it's left that scar mark. It's interesting, isn't it? Yep. How old? 72 years old. 72 years old. So that takes us back to 1950. And we've got a special guest with us today. We have Finn's sister Ada. Say hello to the camera, Ada. Hi. And Ada wants to count some rings on this tree, the next one, the one that's next door to Finn. So you're going to start counting. You start from the middle, Ada. Okay. So we got to start from the middle, okay? So we start there, and that's one, two, three. One, two. Three. No, 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 no. Go start our point. Put your finger. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our point. You count. Eleven. Twelve. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-nine. Forty. It's very difficult to count down here, isn't it? But that is. Like Mummy said, it's well over 50 years Why old. Why didn't you um, count up there? Well, it's the same ring. So if you follow that ring round, it starts there, but it goes right the way around. So you could count from the middle, upwards, sideways, or downwards. Okay. What have you worked out, Finn? That our grandma is 72 years old, so this tree started growing in 1950. That's what we reckon. So actually, that tree is the same age as Grandma. Oh. Oh, that'd be nice if we could. There we go, and here comes Sid. Okay, Finn, so what we often find, we talked about fire lighting materials last week in the woods, which was a deciduous woodland. This week we're in a coniferous, so it's full of pine trees. And what can we get from pine trees? Uh, fat wood. Fat wood we can get, can't we? Right. So we've looked for some down stuff. We've come across, we're gonna need the saw and we're gonna take off this limb here to see whether there's any fat wood in there. Do you wanna do the sawing? Yep. So you saw that limb there, okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Well, let's finish it off and we'll have a look. Okay, so if we turn it round. Now, you have a sniff. Smell of resin? A little bit. No, not much, does it? So that's not a good one. Right, Finn, so this is a broken down stump. So this branch came out really near to the base of the, mm -hmm. the the tree, so it's near the base of the stump. So if we if we go right back, try doing it two-handed. If it's two-handed, you could put a little bit more force, and it'd be less likely to cut yourself. Brilliant. Now, do you want to have a sniff? Good boy. Actually, put your fold your saw away. Not that much. Have another sniff. 
not really. No, it's still not much, is it? All right, we'll keep searching then. Don't climb on there, Finn. Oh. You don't know how stable they are. Fine. And they could easily fall down, couldn't they? Roll. They're quite old. So this is a downed pine that's come across the road at some point, Finn. So what we're gonna do is just chop off. Okay, drag that out and let's give that a sniff. Have we found some fat wood? It's the wrong end. <laughs> that's, that's the end I just cut. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that smells amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Right then. Let's get that and let's get another. Yeah, that would definitely smell. Smell that, doesn't it? Well, that smells strong, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, what we'll do, Finn, we'll take off a length because we don't need too much. And the resin is always going to be pocketed around the joint, okay? Mm -hmm. So there we can see, Finn, the resin. Quite strong smelling as well. Brilliant, we've got it then. Finn, come here a sec. Now, Finn, this is another, this is another one that's come down probably from a storm, okay? But you've yeah. got to be really careful when you're selecting branches to trim for fatwood, okay? Because you can see here, this branch under here, the, the whole weight of the tree is resting on that, okay? So you've got to be really careful when you do have a look at branches to take, have a look at ones you can see both ends, because you know that these are under no tension at all. So you could take that quite safely, but if you take try and take any of the ones that the tree's leaning on, for a start, your saw will get caught up, but if you did get through it, it could dislodge and the tree could come down on you. So that's really important, okay? Yeah. Right then, let's catch up with Mummy because everyone's soaking. We'll quickly have a look at this fatwood while we've got this sort of pile of logs here. So, the other thing I want to say, that on that down tree we were talking about a couple of seconds ago, I've also just trimmed off another one in addition to the three that we chopped off. Now this is quite interesting because this has broken off a long time ago because it's all mossed up. Now where a tree has suffered an injury it's really useful because it will have really filled that knuckle the joint on the tree with all the um, resin so if we just and we can see how orange that wood is there and that's the fat wood that we're after now if we were to sort of process this obviously it's really wet at the moment but if we were to You see that's all nicely fluffed up there. So this is obviously to wet this. So we'd scrape, scrape, scrape. We keep scraping, build up a nice pile, just trim that off and pop that down there. We build up that sort of maybe three, four times the amount. Yeah. And then we could also just shave some, get some shaves of it there. So we get the fire steel and then we'd strike it get a spark on that and that would ignite and it would burn really black smoke because of all the oil in it yeah. okay and there we go so shavings of fat wood another fire lighting resource so yeah almost back at the car now Finn's choosing as ever to wade through the deepest puddle he can find okay we're just going to say cheerio so Finn over to you smash that Bye. lens <laughs> 